Hello. In order to figure out the 2020th order derivative, well, that's an interesting number, at the function of f of x equals natural log of 2x, you will first, it would be better if you took, took a few derivatives and then make a generalizing pattern in order to figure out the 2020th derivative. Notice that the original function f of x is equal to the natural log of 2x, taking the derivative of that will be x to the power of negative 1. Taking the derivative of that will be negative x to the power of to the, negative x to the power of negative 2, and so on. I listed here some number factorials here. Now let's take a key look at here to figure out if we can make any pattern in the nth derivative. Notice that at odd derivatives, the number is positive, whereas if it it's an even derivative, the number is negative, and this holds true for all of it. So we could generalize this by saying, oh, the coefficient will be the power of n minus 1. So that way we shift it by one derivative in order to get the sign at its opposite. Then notice here that at the first derivative, you get 1. At the second derivative, you get 1. Oh, ignore the negative sign for now. 3, you get 2, the 4th derivative, you get 6, and the 5th power, you get 24. Notice that this is this the number derivative minus 1 and that factorial will yield the same. So at the 4th derivative, it will be minus 1, 3 factorial, 6. Third fa the 3rd third derivative, minus 1, 2, 2 factorial, 2. You see the pattern? So it's the, so you get the nth derivative, and you subtract it by 1, and it's that factorial. And then lastly, this one's easy, is that it's just x to the power of negative n, or x to the power of that derivative, which is kind of obvious, right, because it's consistent draft. All right, and that's it. So now if you want to take the 2020th derivative, simply negative 1 the power of 2020 minus 1, so that's 2019. Notice that it is negative 1 to the power of an odd number, so it would just be a negative number. Times 2019 factorial, which I obviously will not calculate without a calculator because that's a really big number. And then you'll do x to the power of negative 2020. Okay, and that is the number of the 2020th through, or actually I should say, the expression for the 2020th order derivative. And this one, um, in this one here, it looks like it is right, but however, you shouldn't be adding x minus 2, just so you know. Thank you. Have a nice day.